Are you planning to move to Lisbon and wondering how to rent an apartment? In this video, we will show you everything you need to know about renting an apartment in Lisbon the right way, including the requirements, rental prices, and how to rent an apartment remotely. Consider this is your essential guide to finding your perfect home in Lisbon. Hello, we are Mia and Rafael, founders of MOL Portugal, a property advisory company that helps you buy and rent property in Portugal like a local. Before we dive in, we kindly ask that you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps us out and allow us to continue pushing videos like this every week. Lisbon is a beautiful city with a rich history and culture and it's also a popular destination for tourists and expats. As a result, the rental market can be quite competitive. But don't worry, we're here to help you to navigate the process and find you a dream apartment. Before you start your apartment search, you need to define your budget and preferred location. Lisbon has many different neighborhoods, each with its own charm and vibe but very different, so it's important to research and if you can visit different areas to find out the one that suits you better, this would be ideal. Make sure to also factor in additional costs like utilities, internet and transportation. Watch this video for our top peak neighborhoods of Lisbon. The easier way to start your apartment search of course is online. There are many websites and apps that list available apartments in Lisbon, such as Idilista, OLX, which is a Portuguese version of what Americans know as Craigslist, and Casa Sapo, just to name a few. Then you can also have the agency's websites like Century 21 and Era, Remax, for instance. You can filter your search by location, price, number of bedrooms, and other criteria. It's also a good idea to sign up for email alerts so that you can be notified to new listings that match your criteria in the ideal preferred areas. And an important advice, if you don't want to miss out on any apartments, don't email or message. Instead of it, call. This can be a pain point as quite probably you will need to do several attempts till getting hold of the listing agent and eventually he or she will be busy at that time and won't take your call, but it's still the way to do it. Yes, don't wait for the reply of the messages and email. Also, a lot of listings online are not available anymore, so it's important again to call and check so you don't have to waste your time. Another option is to hire professionals that can help you find a suitable apartment and by doing this you may be able to tap into a database of apartments that are not listed online and they can also provide you with more personalized service. You can either contact a real estate agent or hire a company like ours that will work on your behalf. Quite recently, we just launched a new property rental service here in Portugal that we'll dive deeper into it shortly. The requirements to rent an apartment in Lisbon can vary depending on the landlord and the rental agency and the specific property. However, here are some common requirements that you may need to provide in order to rent an apartment in Lisbon. You may be asked to provide a passport or a national ID card and of course your NIF number, which is your fiscal number in Portugal. Landlords or rental agencies may require your proof of income such as pay stub or employment contract to ensure that you have the financial means to pay your rent on time. Sometimes even tax returns from the previous year. You will typically be required to pay a deposit, which is usually equal to one or two months of rent. An additional rent payment with the signing of the lease, for instance. It's normal for the landlord to ask you to pay at least three months in advance, plus the deposit. Some landlords will require you to have a grantor, who will co-sign the rental contract and be responsible for paying the rent if you are unable to do so. This is especially a common request with foreigners and extremely difficult for you to get. But most of the time there are ways to get around this demand. 
Also be prepared to sign for a one-year lease as this is the most common duration for the rental contracts in Portugal lately. Remember, Portugal is a landlord's market and with a demand that exceeds many times the offers available. You will notice this once you start your journey of finding apartment to rent, especially in Lisbon. So act quick. To give you an idea about how the rental prices are in Lisbon right now, in fact, it can vary depending on the location, size and condition of the apartment. But for instance, a studio or a one bedroom apartment in central Lisbon can cost anywhere from 900 to 1500 euros per month while a two-bedroom apartment can range from 1200 to 2500 per month. Prices can vary even more depending on the specific neighborhood and the apartment's amenity and condition. In less central areas or neighborhoods that are less popular among tourists and expats, rental prices can be more affordable. If you are outside of Portugal and you're looking to rent an apartment in Lisbon, it's totally doable, although it may require some additional effort and planning. If you can have an independent opinion, then great. Otherwise, we can recommend that you research and choose a reliable team or rental platform and use uh, video tours and virtual viewings to see the apartments remotely. Remember that besides the apartment itself, it's very important to understand also how the stairways of the building are and also if they are easy or difficult to use. I'm sure some of you that have already been to Lisbon and stayed in an Airbnb in the historic center of the city will understand why we're talking about this. And remember to check also how the street is like during the day and also during the night and get, of course, as much information as you can. You also need to communicate with the landlord or rental agency and be clear about your situation and needs. We recommend that you use secure payment methods for any deposits or rental payments and consider getting legal advice if you're unsure about any aspect of the rental process. As we mentioned earlier, we just launched a brand new service to help people find and secure a rental in Portugal, even from afar. This service makes it easy, especially for D7 visa and digital nomads visa applicants to secure a rental contract even when they are not physically in the country. So how does it work? We will search, contact and vet your future rental home. Just imagine landing in Portugal and going straight to your new home with your suitcases and your pets, where everything is ready for you before even arriving. If you are interested in this service or would just like to know more about it, visit our website, propertyrentalportugal.com. If you decide to move forward with us, you will follow three easy steps and we will take care of the rest. Living in Lisbon can be a great experience, but it's important to be prepared and informed before making any decisions. We hope that this video has provided you with the useful information on the requirements for renting an apartment in Lisbon, the current rental prices in the city, and how to rent an apartment while you're being outside of Portugal. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you feel like you didn't find the answers to your questions, feel free to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation call with us. We would love to offer you some clarity. You can find the link to schedule with us in the description below along with additional resources on valuable information about moving to Portugal. And as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We post new videos every week. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram as we are quite active there as well. If you're considering relocating to Portugal with your family, make sure to watch this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao.